Today we're going to dive into one of the most disruptive supply chain compromises we have seen in 2025. It is the self-replicating worm inside the NPM registry. This attack spread across more than 180 packages, maintained by multiple authors, and its end goal was credential theft. All right, so NPM is the world's largest software registry. It is powering Node GS applications across enterprises, cloud infrastructure, and CI/CD pipelines. A single NPM package can be downloaded millions of times per week, and modern applications often import hundreds of dependencies. The malware spread automatically using stolen credentials from one maintainer to compromise the next, creating a cascading infection across the ecosystem. With published rights, they slip malicious code into legitimate packages. Now, after the initial infiltration, they started abuse of lifecycle scripts. NPM automatically executes pre-install, post-install, and prepare scripts. Given that, the worm inserted obfuscated JavaScript into these hooks. Whenever a developer installed the package, the script would silently execute. And then we come to credential harvesting. The script collected secrets, environment variables. Uh, we also have .npmrc files, environment files, even GitHub tokens. These credentials were exfiltrated to attacker control servers, or as we call them, command and control servers. Developers, as I saw, they often rely on long-lived NPM tokens with full privileges. Few of, the, few of them use scoped or short-lived tokens, 